commercials, baby. This don't make no fucking sense. Your boss is a thief, a bully, and a crook. He expects you to work. That's like slavery. And thanks to popular plebiscite, it's now entirely illegal in our state. Hammerstein and Faust employment law. We are specialists in San Andreas employment litigation. With our help, you'll never need to work again. With the way manage lawsuit, your economic miracle can go on tomorrow. Shit. Remember, accidents do happen. Why not slip and fall into the good life? This is the real American dream. Pulling yourself up by your bootstraps after faking a fall at work oh and suing God. everybody in the poverty. We'll show oh, well, you fuck the fuck when it comes to getting what you deserve from your work environment. Call today or visit our website. Ah, some don't feel too good. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know? I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but... I. I I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys were at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Traffic jams full of people trying to escape town, man. Movie stars walk in little tiny dogs so they can be photographed. And fast food restaurants next to yoga studios. Radio Los Santos, we've been doing this for years. There he is. Where are we going? We uh heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dog. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homie? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIV cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? 
We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his age. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Look, man, Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we're doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Between him and 
and all licks in the hood. Difference is several tons of gold, huh? Oh, 
shouldn't have come here! This one's mine! I need some help over here! I'm putting him down! like we did it. See it for now. Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. What the hell yo, let me see, there's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up the mark? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right. 
right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's who. Mike on Trevor, too. We great. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, uh -huh. Triass coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hates. And we know the niggas on the run. What y'all know about
ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Please, pair of bitches. Only pair of bitches that stretch tolerate are the ones that worked this pole last night. Who's this peck of wood? Homies, with them. Hey, man, he got stretch, man. Roll on his ass. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who jacked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. Moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Grr, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. So, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. It's low. American milk. <laughs> This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Dreams. Man, that's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? <clears throat> Rolling. And he shot him! Jesus fucking Christ. I 
Dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a. Yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed.
That's Trevor. Move in. What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Finally, shoes are getting back to nature. Toe shoes. You were born barefoot. Your ancestors ran. 
and barefoot. And now, toe shoes allow you to run barefoot with shoes that look like feet. Slightly deformed, wet toe, oh, brightly colored feet. Just like your ancestors that died at 25 of crickets. They're like wearing no shoes at all. As nature intended, toe shoes. They're shoes for toes and twats. Take a dip in the ocean of You're nostalgia. Don't meditate, you phony prick! minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. T? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. All right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh, oh it's a setup, it's a setup, no, it's a setup, no. Oh, it's a setup, it's a setup, no, it's a setup, no. Oh, it's a setup, it's a setup, no, it's a setup, no. Oh, it's a setup, it's a setup, no, it's a setup, no. Oh, 